very exciting because we are all going away for the weekend, the whole Wheels No Heels family. So my mum, my dad, my sister, her husband, and the little baby, we are all going away for a weekend. And my sister has absolutely no idea. So it's her birthday. And she's been told that she's going for a Mercedes driving experience at Mercedes-Benz World in Surrey. And she thinks she's just the only one doing yeah, it. We get to share in her present as well. We get to share too. And we're gonna go up there and we're gonna go Focus. surprise. And we are off now to Mercedes-Benz World. We get to drive one of the super duper fast cars, which yeah. I can't remember which one it is. Mercedes AMG. I'm practicing already. Yeah, around the track. Sean gets to go for an hour around the track and drive it and then, you know, learn all about it. Teach the instructor Because to I need hand controls and things like that, I'm not gonna be able to drive, unfortunately. Um, but at least I do get to go in the car with a handsome young man, I hope, who's going to take me around the track. You already are. Oh. <laughs> Um, a coffee please. So, oh my god, we have just got here and the building is absolutely amazing. It was actually rebuilt in 2006. Entrance to Mercedes-Benz World is completely free and it is only half an hour away from London's Waterloo station. We're just about to have some coffees now. Yeah, as well as yeah. you've got Sean, Darren, and Gemma. Yeah, um, yeah that's fine. I've got So you'll see and feel how the car reacts both with the systems on. Then your driving specials will turn all those off and hopefully we'll get you drifting around the circle and have a bit of fun on the wet straight as well. Drifting. Then we've got a dynamic area, so you'll build the car up to about 60 miles an hour uh, and you'll be so, do, using all the ABS systems and all the and all that sort of stuff in the car. Everyone happy? Yeah. yeah. Awesome, so you're all driving at 11 o'clock, so you've got 25 minutes to say. About 5 to 11, you're going to head down to the driver's lounge, so there's a map on the very back wall. I'll meet you down there for about the same sort of time. We'll get you out to your driver's specialist. We'll get you out, Amanda. We'll do a video. We'll do that, mm -hmm. the darling. And then we go upstairs and you're going to have a, you're going to have a drive, aren't you? Yourself? Are you going on the simulators? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're good fun. Yeah. I suppose she's actually too I big go to go on the little ones. I think she yeah. may be. <laughs> First of all. It's very exclusive. It's the same as Ben's car. <laughs> this is the one coming for you. This is my car. Yeah, this one. <laughs> That's like the Batmobile. That's insane. Wow. Where's Sean? Where's Darren? Dar Sean's in that red one there. Oh, Sean's in the red one. <laughs> Oh my god, that's 
fast, isn't it? How fast did we go? Touching about, well, about 70, 75 mile an hour in under four seconds, not 60 and 3.6. Oh my gosh, look how far we went. And it's a, it's a greasy road today as well. So, so I put it in race mode. Let's put like it in race, race mode. mode. That sounds like we a good like sound like that. Yeah, <laughs> we like that. Um, track's looking pretty good right now. Uh, there's no overtaking around it, but I've given plenty of space to other cars and stuff. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Ah! Woo! Woo! It's alive, this thing really is like driving a racing car again. Yeah. It scares things out of the way, like this car that's coming up. It's going to be chewing on our dust. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you reckon of this thing? Oh, yeah, it's so good. It's good. So, we're in second gear right now, we're coming through that corner. Um, this one's a bit out of my zone, I can't see that. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. When we get to the end of the straight, it's touching about 110 miles an hour, short space of time. <laughs> down the third, turning in at about sort of 60, 70 miles an hour. Oh, wow. We'll give a flash of headlights as well, then. Oh. Uh, little video, she's doing. So I use the hand controls when I drive. Okay, yeah. So would that be something that Mercedes would look at so that disabled drivers could come here and have a go? Well, there's the potential of it, yes. If there's, uh, you know, enough market of I've, I've taken um, disabled people out on the experiences before, even without hand controls. Nicholas Hamilton is um, uh, Lewis's brother. I, I taught him to drive here and he oh, really? drives anyway now. So, yeah, nothing really. I've taken about 12 blind people out there, um, several deaf people, and a few with other disabilities and things. Yeah. And we do all sorts of experiences here. You know, obviously, the passenger ride, that is great. It's a bit like skipping all that learning stuff and really get to. Experience what the car is like at its best. <laughs> okay. I do feel a bit sick. <laughs> I'm not going to be sick. But yeah, I do feel a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, at those extremes, it's quite enough, isn't it? Really? Yeah, because I was thinking, oh god, they're all going out for an hour, but yeah, you don't need more than. <laughs> well, I mean, with that as well, you know, they're, they're not taking the pace, you know, they haven't got the experience yeah. as much as we have on that one. And they'll have little pauses while they explain things and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> oh my god that was insane i've just been on that we've just done the track and it was insane we went so so fast i can't believe that <laughs> the full of adrenaline <laughs> oh my god it's so so good lauren your favorite bit was the lauren huh? your favorite bit was the straight don't trust her. going don't on the straight or, and going around the circuit probably don't trust her. what your top speed she can't even hold it Let alone i think on it. the straight it was 86 86 but it was naught to 86 in like how many seconds <laughs> it, was like, oh, it was really fast yeah really fun what was your favorite bit on the um uh, driving experience. Oh, just the race track. The track. I kept, I kept losing it at the drifting bit. Did you? Just right. I was right on the peak of it and I just kept giving it that little bit too much because the, the accelerators are really touching. Yeah, so we have just had the track experience in the race car and now I'm going to have a go and be a passenger in the off-road experience, so it's going to be exciting. Okay, so yes. th this is the GLE 250. Oh, nice. How long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, nearly six years now. My history is a mixed police. Oh, cool. I did 30 years in the Metropolitan Police Service. Oh, wow. um, finished off as a homicide detective. Mm -hmm. I was using my traffic division skills to kind of hunt down armed robbers and things like that. It's like going on safari. It is, apparently. <laughs> I've never been on safari, oh. but people do see it. So. <laughs> do Here is the first obstacle. Oh, wow. Now, it's slippy concrete, oh my wet, gosh. normal road tyres, but we can still do this. So just a little bit of power. Oh, yeah. And feel it up. Now, the downhill speed regulation button is on. I'm just going to let the car roll. Look, I've got no foot on gas or brake, and it's holding itself back because I set the system to three miles an hour so it doesn't roll away. Mm. It's holding itself back. Look at that one roll the water. So 
Now we can use a little bit of gas. Now then, this is a set of stairs, step by step, so it doesn't run away. Oh my goodness. Just feel it down. So we do this as slow as possible, we went in too fast. The suspension could compress and the front of the car would touch down, we don't want that, so no, we go down no. really slow. Yeah. So is this a 40 degree angle? 40 percent, yeah. So, I have just done the off-road experience, which was amazing. Like, going up, like, I don't know, they were like almost 90 degree angles. Ski slope. Yes, he did, he called it a ski slope yeah. actually. Um, and stones and all sorts of things. And now, oh my God, my mouth is so dry from all the adrenaline. We're gonna go up to the restaurant now and meet the rest of the party and have something to eat. Yeah, I feel really, really lucky that I've been able to experience the track and the 4x4. And if you are thinking of coming and you're not driving yourself, someone is going to be driving with you, like myself, who has a disability, I would definitely recommend doing both of them. Doing the track and the 4x4, and then you get a really, really good experience. So the track is 15 minutes, and the 4x4 experience is 15 minutes. Um, whereas if you're driving yourself, you get to learn a lot more, and I think it's about an hour or so. Um, but yeah, but you enjoyed your off-road one, didn't you? Yeah. No, no, your um, track day, didn't you? Yeah, it was unreal. Really yeah. good. Nice to yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. boost. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't even write when I got off when I was doing the um, oh, really? information. My hand was still like all because of the adrenaline. It was all shaking. Yeah, I know. I was like that. My face was like bright red. Writing. Really? <laughs> My face was bright red. Ah, there they are. <laughs> We're choking now. We're just having some lunch now in the Gold Wing restaurant. And uh, yeah, what, what did your instructor say about you? He said another hour's training and I'd be able to drive the safety car into Formula One. Oh wow. Did you know I was actually in the safety car? The car that I was in. <laughs> really? Yeah. What is it? The AMG? I can't remember what it's called. Excuse me, Stacey. I just wanted to be. Do you know that the safety car drives flat out while it's got the Formula One cars behind it? Really? Like it's full on ra racing around the track. Yeah. Oh yeah, should we go and see what the cinema is like? Should we go and see what the cinema is like? Let's do that. Yes. I've been kidnapped. She's got a hold of my wheelchair. I think it's that way. She's got a hold of me and has removed me from the table. Now we are going to have a look. There's a cinema here. So there's three floors in this amazing building. Um, and on this floor, we've got the simulators, the restaurant, I'm going to the and the yeah, and there's like this mini cinema kind of in the middle. Right, so we're going into the cinema. There's no one in here. Wow, it's massive in here. Here on this floor is all of the simulators. They've got a full-size F1 simulator that you can drive. And then they've got some mini ones over there. And then they've got these ones for the children here, which are really cute. And also Daisy Bell's lap time is up there. What what was your time? Daddy's still going. What was your time? One minute. So you've just come off. How was it? It's harder than I thought. Really? Where did you come? What was your time? I don't want to say. Oh, a gentleman never reveals. <laughs> I pushed too hard. Let's put it that way. Oh, story of his yeah, life. You've only got to push that bit too hard, and that wrecks your time. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yeah, I need to do it again. Are you you want to come back now every weekend until you're the fastest lap time? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
we've got our winner! Woo! And look how cute is this? They have a little mini track with the little mini electric Mercedes cars. And the little ones can go on this track. On the road again. Here he goes. Way. <laughs> Not to sixteen. Not about eight point seven six seven seconds. <laughs> about three hours. <laughs> that was so much fun. We loved that. We've been here all day. It's now about three o'clock in the afternoon, and we are off to the <laughs> off to the hotel now. Gonna have a nice. A nice swim, hopefully. We all had an absolutely amazing time at Mercedes Benz World. As you can see, the whole place was completely wheelchair accessible. They cater for people with all kinds of disabilities and everybody can take part no matter what your age. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.